Welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today I will show you how to install and configure Squid Server, which is a proxy server on CentOS 8. Squid is a Unix based proxy server that caches internet content closer to a requester than its original point of origin. Squid supports caching of many different kinds of objects, including those access to HTTP and FTP. Squid works by tracking object use over the network, Squid will in initially act as an intermediary, simply passing the client request onto the server and saving a copy of requested objects. So let's start the process of installation. Now installing package is Squid. The package in Linux for proxy server is Squid. Hence we will use m command m install Squid star for a star is to call all related packages to Squid. It will install. Yes. Downloading packages. Installing. Now it's completed. Now start the script service using systemctl command. systemctl start script is started now. Now make enable the script service so that it's my system rebooted and it's and this service remain on automatically. So we will use enable command systemctl enable Squid. It's enabled. Now check status. Is it showing some error or any or actively running? So system CTL status is good. It's active and running. Next you have to go into the configuration file of Squid server using the vim command vim slash etc slash script slash script.com here you can see a lot of acl have been applied acl is access control list now you can see the acl local net src so we don't need all these things so we will go to insert mode and put hash and now we will insert our setting here we will insert our local ad local address the address on which my script server will allow the traffic. So we will create a new ACL here. ACL local net. This is just a name. You can give any name here. SRC source address 192.168.1.1. Slash 24. 24 is a subnet. For all these subnet, it will provide the network. Hence, HTTP underscore access allow local net. I have created this pool of address and tell to I have provided this pool of address and told to Squid Server to allow local net. So it will provide local net on these pool of addresses. Now we will check first HTTP underscore port. You can see here is a 3128 port. This is Samba's by default 
port number. So by default, this script is configured to listen in port uh, 3128 on all network interface on server. But if you want to change port and set a listening interface, then you can mention his HTTP underscore port and specify interface IP and new port. If no interface is specified, this will be listened on all interfaces. Hence, it's given as 2128 I am using on default port. So, let's move another thing. It will provide internet on my local address, which is I provided the pool of address. Now, insert your own rule. You can see here, insert your own rule here to allow access from your client. So I can insert here my rule. I am creating an I am creating a rule here that site block and for that I have to create an ACL access control list ACL that site url underscore regex that's a command and we have to give the path name slash squid slash bad sites this is the file name i am mentioning here bad site we have to go to the bad site file and I have to mention some sites which I don't want to access of my client. So, I want to block uh, some particular sites for our client like social media, shopping sites, etc. Hence, we will type here HTTP underscore access and we will put here deny that site. It will deny to access all the thing mentioned in my file bad sites. Hence, now it's completed. Now we will go to exit from here. Now I have to create a file which I mentioned in the script configuration file bad sites. So now I'm going to that location vim slash stc slash script slash bad sites and now I'll come in insert mode. Now I'll mention all the site which I don't want to access for my clients like flipkart.com dot Amazon.in. Now I'm answering only two. Writing and quit. After the, this turn, we will use firewall command to add the port 3128 permanently to have firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen port is equals to 3128 slash the TCP port it's already enabled now uh, to reflect the changes in firewall we will reload the firewall using firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload now after that we will restart the script service to reflect the changes all 
is started. Now I will check what is my IP address, what is my script server IP address. It is showing 192.168.7.224. Now I am going to check vim slash etc slash script slash bad sites. My bad sites file in which I have pushed some facebook.com, flipkart.com, amazon.in links which the script server will not allow traffic on it. Okay. Then I am moving to my client PC to configure a script. Now, here on my browser, I will apply some proxy setting. Advance, open proxy setting, we will make enable. The manual 192.168.7.224.3128. I will make save it. Okay. Now I will check any website google.com. It's working. Flipkart.com. The request URL could not be retrieved. The following error is trying to access denied because in my script server, I denied all the things for in the bad site, in the file bad site link. Hence, they are not accessing here. And the other is Amazon.in. It's also not reachable. If we try some other Microsoft Edge. Yeah, it's opening. Now, I can check log access file here in the script server using tail minus f slash where slash log slash script slash access dot log. It will source all the access files either connected or either blocked both. Now I will check here on my terminal side to reflex to see the reflex what I got here. If you are using Amazon then it will reflect here that it is aborted. If I using Google here It will say, yeah, it's connect, connect, connect. Hence, my proxy server is working fine. So, this is the proxy server in which we can define any sites to be aborted or to be allowed. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial, please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com. And if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.